Uh, next up, next up, we want you guys to uh, take some time uh, when you can to head across and check out the Elf King article. Ben, tell uh, us a little bit about that. Yeah, so uh, this is a new game that's coming out, um, written by uh, Rick Priestley uh, under the guidance and everything of um, Lucid Ice uh, publications. And the whole point of the game is that it's set in this uh, fantasy world where elves are the lords of pretty much everything. Uh, they're not like the typical elves you've seen in fantasy before. They're not willowy, lithe, pointy-eared fellows. They are big, hefty, almost demigod-style creatures. They're very much more in line with the like of type of elves you might have seen in Norse mythology and stuff like that. Uh, they don't even have, for example... Uh, sort of the the standard makeup of, of humanity that everyone else does so there's no hearts and stuff inside them they are basically these shells with souls inside them which is pretty crazy yeah. um, but it's set in this fantastic little um, um, fantasy world which is very brutal very dark and very foreboding and we've seen a uh, really cool look at the the world some of the background and of course some of the models that have been put out by lucid eye publications over the last couple of months leading up to a release later in this year so if you want to learn a bit more about the game go and check that out to talk about a little bit about what's coming soon as well. Yeah. So if you like the idea of all the kind of Norse stuff in the future, they've got the idea of trolls coming. Ooh. They've got humans and barbarians and all sorts of different things mixed, thrown into the mix as well. But the key fight in all of this is between the different elf houses. So you'll be playing as an elven thane and his companions going to war against each other in sort of an inter-family struggle between everybody. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out on the tabletop. So. The minis are lovely looking, aren't they? Mm. They are very nice indeed. Have yeah. we had any word on what scale these minis? these are uh so they're standard 28 mil heroic so think about maybe about 28 mil, mil. To, within 32 <laughs> mil yeah. so yeah that's a, they're absolutely beautiful absolutely yeah beautiful. it's a very different take on the elven race i'll give it that you see, that's, that's the thing that's so fascinating about this. They, they, they've they gone back to sort of older Celtic and Norse uh, opinions on what elves look like mm -hmm. and taken that as their inspiration. But for me as well, one of the interesting things here is that it has almost that Tolkien-esque feel to it as well. Mm -hmm. Like I've been looking at these not only for, you know, being used in uh, the Elf King, but also being used as like Mirkwood elves, for example, as well. Oh, yeah. Like, for example, the painted character could be Thranduil from uh, from uh, from Merc, which would be pretty yeah. cool. But mm. but yeah, the, the game is looking really great. The models are looking fantastic, and there's much much more on the way as well uh, from what the the guys at Lucid Eye have told us. So yeah. keep an eye out for it. Absolutely, yeah. wonder yeah. the worth watching looking, for. Looking at that painted image, I can definitely see why you would. Think Tandriel, there is a real arrogance to that sculpt. Uh, he looks like he's ready to give someone a, the back of his hand, Warren. Yes. Yeah. Yes, he does. <laughs> Very nice. Beautifully Very done. Nice. Beautifully done.